Hello, Ecto-Sage here on the Sage channel. It is Sleep, Art, Game, and Eat. And today, we're looking at a bomber I built. Because recently, they added these working landing gears, and I thought, you know what, with this, we have great potential to have an actual bomber. So, here we go. I've put a bunch of these landing gears along the bottom of this big ship, and connected to those, I put these explosive mines. Now, of course, currently in the game, these mines do not actually explode because the game is still in very early alpha, but at least I can show off the idea behind this bomber. Uh, the ship itself is very basic. I basically um, started out with just the design of this sort of rib cage thing, and then sort of afterthought, okay, I need a bridge. Well, let's just stick a simple bridge down here and a few reverse engines. Uh, Back here, I have the main engine compartment, though, where I actually do have more reverse engines just stuffed in there, but not many. Uh, I got a bunch of forward-facing engines, one behind the other, behind these. Uh, and then a few more facing to the sides, uh, like this one here. And then just the ones that you can see facing up here, and the ones, if we go down here, below it. Oh, that's not all the way to blow. Like these two on the bottom. Uh, so the ship is not that maneuverable, it's got really, really quick acceleration though, which is the main idea behind this bomber, is that basically the ship would jump in, line itself up with the target if it wasn't already lined up, as I actually have the ship lined up right now with um, some stuff from a previous video way over there, then the ship would accelerate towards it if it's not already moving quickly from its jump in, ro rotate so the bottom is facing the ship after disabling its inertial dampeners and releasing its payload before turning our inertial dampeners back on, accelerating away, and then jumping away. So the ship is not designed to stay in fight for any extended amount of time, or actually any amount of time really at all. It's just meant to jump in, release its payload, and then jump back out again. Now let's really quickly to disable our inertial dampeners on the caterpillar. This is the only way into the ship, by the way, right here, so let's just fall down here really quick there we go nice little airlock uh, like I said the ship doesn't really have any other purpose besides bombing so it's a lot of open space in here no sleeping quarters no food no medical none of that the ship's got one job there's no point in it even staying out here once it's delivered its payload because there's currently no way to reload its payload and do another bombing run so it would fire and jump away in here we have our basically engineering all the engines so randomly placed one behind the other and stuff. I know somebody told me that uh, in a future update the engines will actually melt through whatever's in front of them, which is good for realism, but you know, while they're not like that right now, I figured I'll take advantage of that. Uh, down here below this main support beam down the middle, you can see we have our reactors, and then up over here we have, of course, our gyroscopes so the ship can actually rotate. Now let me get out of this confusing little workspace area, which is basically all it is and get out here, run all the way down this huge empty hallway, which I actually think looks pretty cool. Maybe on a bigger ship I'd have just a few of these hallways along the outer sides just to kind of overlook or maybe even just hallways connecting different outposts. Uh, in here is the control room. Extremely simple. Uh, let me hop in here. And now the ship, I already lined it up pretty well, so now I'm just going to demonstrate its bombing technique. So let's get in. Let's pretend we just jumped in at probably this speed now we're accelerating the rest of the way up to bombing speed we get up to it pretty quickly if you look in the bottom right we've just reached maximum speed disable inertial dampeners now we're going to rotate the bottom of the ship to be facing the target down there now once we're in that position i think right about there we're going to release the payload and now we're going to turn our inertial dampeners back on and we're going to slow away we're going to turn them off again that way we'll keep up with the bomb slightly and hopefully be able to see their impact and you can see the bombs coming down, coming down, coming down, and it is... Ooh, wow. oh, yep, it's a hit. There we go. We're good. Uh, oh, right, of course. Uh, if I was doing this for real, the ship, the second it released its payload and it was clear of this big ship, we would have um, engaged our engines, engaged our inertial dampeners, and gotten out of here. But, you know, for example purposes, and the ability to follow these mines into their target. Uh, and since we couldn't see any explosions from the distance, because, as I said, the mines are currently disabled, I just let us drift into that. Which, uh, actually, was kind of cool, too. Let's uh, turn on that again. Let's just shut the thrust out of here. 
You can see everything being pulled along as a bunch of different ships I have docked to this big platform try to pull in different ways. Yeah, it's pretty damn cool. Wow, and I'd say we've just about sheared this bomber in half. We're about to, I think, run out of reactors considering the way it's breaking through stuff. And actually, I've just about sheared that big constructor ship in half. Hmm. Yeah, well, I, th I think we've just lost most of our power. The ship's not really moving much anymore. Anyway, um, thanks a bunch for watching. I just wanted to show off this idea I had for a bomber really quick. Um, not the most beautiful ship, but it got the point across, I think. And, um, yeah, I, I hope I look to do this basically again once they get those bombs actually exploding, because I think it would be amazing to have them. Maybe even a bigger bomber ship than this do a run at something like this, release its payload, and then move out of the way. And especially once we get multiplayer, because then I'll be able to probably have someone else pilot the ship while I stand somewhere down here and I can actually see the ship release the bombs and then see the impact up close. And ah, it'll be amazing. I really cannot wait for um, this game to keep evolving. I can't wait for um, a 64-bit version or at least one that allows to use more memory. That way my mega constructions will... Stop crashing every three minutes. Um, yeah, overall, I'm really excited for the future of this game. And uh, thank you a bunch for watching. I'll see you guys next time.